the stolen victory and mysterious death of Mossod Abiola, early life and education. Mossod Ab- Kasimwamo Ulawale Abiola, widely known as MKO Abiola, was born on 24th August 1937 in Abio Kokuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. He came from a humble background but showed exceptional promise from a young age. Abiola attended Baptist Boys High School in Abio Kuta, where he excelled in academically and demonstrated early leadership skills. His academic brilliance earned him a scholarship to study at the University of Glasgow in Scotland, where he obtained a degree in accountancy. His, this international education laid the foundation for future career and success. Business career. After completing his education, Abiola returned to Nigeria and embarked on a career in business. He joined Multinational Corporation International Telephone and Telegraph, ITT, where he quickly rose through the ranks to become the company vice president for Africa and Middle East. Abiola business acumen and strategic vision transformed the ITT operation in Nigeria, making it one of the leading telecommunication firms in the region. In addition to his work with ITT, Abiola established his own conglomerate, Abiola Group of Company, which has spanned various sectors including agriculture, banking, publishing, and transportation. His success in business turned him immense wealth and made him one of the wealthiest men in Nigeria. Abiola was also a notable philanthropist, contributing to numerous educational, health, and social initiative across Nigeria and Africa. Political aspiration. MKU Abiola involvement in political began in 1980s. He was a member of the ruling National Party of Nigeria and played a significant role in funding the party activities. However, it was the 1999s that Abiola political ambition came to the forefront. In 1993, he ran for presidency under the platform of Social Democratic Party, SDP, a party he co founded. The 1993 presidential election. The presidential election held on 12 June 1993 is widely regarded as one of the freest and the fairest elections in Nigeria history. Abiola, running on a platform of hope and national unity, won a decisive victory, receiving an overwhelming mandate from the Nigerian electorate. His campaign resonated across ethnic, religion, and regional lines, symbolizing a new era of democratic governance of, for Nigeria. However, the military government led by General Ibrahim Babangida annulled the election result, citing irregularities and the need to preserve national stabilities. The decision sparked widespread outrage and protest across Nigeria, as it was seen as a blunder attempt to subvert the will of the people. The annulment of the election result marked a significant turning point in Nigerian history, leading to a prolonged period of political crisis and instability, instability detention and death. Following the annulment, Abiola declared himself the rightful president of Nigeria on 11th June 1994, an act of defiance that led to his arrest and detention by military government of General Sani Ab- Abacha. Abiola was charged with treason and spent the next four years in solidarity confinement. Despite international pressure and call for his release, the Nigeria government remained steadfast in his decision to keep him pre- in prison. On July 7, 1998, days before his expected release, Abiola died under un- mysterious circumstances while in detention. Official reports suggested he died of a heart attack, but widespread suspicion and conspiracy theory about the actual cause of his death persists till today. Many believe that Abiola was assassinated to prevent him from reclaiming his rightful position as the democratic, democratically elected president of Nigeria. Legacy of Abiola He is remembered as a successful businessman, philanthropist, and a martyr of democracy in Nigeria. His victory, his victory in 1993 presidential election and the subsequent annulment highlighted the deep-seated issues within Nigeria's political system 
and the length to which those in power will go to maintain their grip on the country's power. Abiola death marked a turning point in Nigeria's struggle for democracy. It galvanized pro democracy movement and intensified pressure on the military government, eventually leading to the end of military rule in 1999 and the establishment of the Fourth Republic. The date of the annulment of election, June, 19, June 12, 1999, has since been commemorated as Democracy Day in Nigeria in honor of Abiola's sacrifice and enduring struggle for democracy and governance. Conclusion Masood Abiola life and death encapsulate complexity and challenges of Nigeria's journey towards democracy. His stolen victory means a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by many Nigerians in pursuit of self-governance and political freedom. Despite the tragic end of his life, Abiola legacy continued to inspire future generations to fight for justice, democracy, and the rule of law in Nigeria and beyond. Thank you very much for watching. I kindly and humbly request you to subscribe and share so you will be getting more videos like this. Thank you very much. Until next time.